What is good guys? Welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to be working on the R34. Matsuri is in like three days, so we need to get a few things buttoned up on there. Um, as I said previously, I think in another vlog, I was talking about how um, it's just getting too hot and I know that if I'm on the track, I'm going to get super frustrated if I have to keep doing cooling laps and not getting any seat time. That's going to suck a lot. The main reason for that is when I did this radiator upgrade, I, uh, I did something really bad that you should never do and uh, I put Chinese fans on it. <laughs> um, just generic no-brand Chinese fans. I mean, like all the fans are from China pretty much, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so they don't push enough CFM, not enough airflow goes through them. So we're gonna change one out for a really high CFM one. I think it's like 1800 or 1700 CFM, which will be good. Um, we're gonna put that on the main hot side of the RB because the inlet and the outlet are all on this side on an RB radiator. So we're gonna put the big powerful fan there. Um, we are also going to be fixing the height issue with my car. Currently the front is higher than the rear. So we need to lower that a bit. And we also have a new lower radi radiator hose that's to replace the one that got eaten by acid we've also got some new tie rod ends for both left and right that's mainly because uh they're both shot from just previous track days learning coming off track and stuff like that the usual kind of products that wear out on your car when you're like skidding and sliding and learning and all that kind of stuff anyways we're gonna get stuck straight into it tomorrow we also have an oil cooler kit coming for it um that's another thing that i just it's a necessity when you're drifting keeping your car cool so you can get maximum seat time um so yeah Cool, oil cooler kit we'll do tomorrow, but we're gonna do everything else today. Enough rambling, let's just throw you on the time lapse and get started. Alrighty, so this is the issue with the rack end. That should be loose, eh? A little bit loose, yeah. <laughs> that ball joint should be nice and tight in that socket there. Alright, sucky situation as you can probably gather from the time lapse, progress kinda came to a complete stop. Um, the rack end that they gave us for the left hand side is completely wrong. Here's the length it should be. That's the length they gave us. The other one was the right part number. This one they got the one mixed up instead of it being like 01 it was like 100 or something instead. I don't know. Yeah, 710 and 170. So, the person that got us the parts was a bit dyslexic. It fits, it does fit. It's just really long, <laughs> much longer than it should be. So we're kind of, um, yeah, we can't move the car now, which sucks, but luckily I did have the car in enough that the door will close. So what we're gonna have to do is uh, first thing in the morning, we're just gonna go and get the right um, arm, return that one and uh, get this car rolling, push it out. I'm gonna finish all of the radiator stuff as well. Um, I've just got, got kind of just got wiring left to sort out, um, so we should be good after that. And then uh, we can put everything back together and I can do the oil cooler kit tomorrow when that turns up as well. It just sucks because now me and Sam have to take two separate cars home. One of Sam's going to take his RX-7 and I'm going to take the work ute. Um, but it's just frustrating because you know you order parts, you pay for the right part. And um, you know this is these these rigging tie rods have been sitting in the office for a whole week and a half now and 
Uh, anyways, I'm sure you can uh, understand. So we'll pick this up again tomorrow morning. We'll continue from there. Oh, yeah, boy. We're making Mangzuri. So what happened? <laughs> what happened? Um, our parts people screwed up. They don't know anything about skylines here. Um, long story short, their listing for the four wheel steer skyline, the hiker skyline, is completely wrong. Um, so I've had to take out this other rack end now because it's too short. And we found the correct listing, which in their computer is listed as the two wheel steer skyline, so the non hiker skyline. So, but I'm looking at the rack in here and it is the hikers rack. So anyways, we're gonna take this uh, this rack end back, return it, because uh, it's their mistake. And then... Uh, the washer that comes off of that one is the washer that comes out of the box too. Okay, cool. To be better because I had the flat out. Yeah. The washer that came out of the box should be behind you on the floor. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Well, that's why I didn't match up. <laughs> That's why the washer didn't match up. <laughs> they gave us the wrong parts! Damn it! Yeah, I'm sure like every car person ever knows the pain we're going through right now. So yeah, we're taking this back, getting the right one, comes in at 9.30. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so it's the next day, and in that little video that May filmed of me on the floor pulling out the other rack end, you would have understood that they gave us all the wrong parts, even the ones that we thought that were right were actually wrong and too short, so... Yeah, long story short, they only had one of the right ones. Another one's coming at 9.30 for the right side. Um, so I'm gonna throw this one in now, set you guys up on the time lapse. Um, I'm also waiting for them to bring in some more like the special um, things that go through your radiator to hold your fans on. Uh, Cause at the moment I temporarily um, just use normal zip ties with like a nut and a washer on either side, which is kind of like, it's a good temporary thing, but it's definitely not something, uh, if you can get these ones, definitely use these ones over that solution because it's not that great. So anyways, uh, gonna throw you on the time lapse, gonna throw this rack end in, make sure that's all correct. I think I keep saying tie rod end instead of rack end, but we are replacing rack ends, there's nothing wrong with my tie rod ends. Um, so I'll put the new boot on, slide that into the rack, and then uh, hopefully by then, the new items will be at Burson's ready for me to throw on. Let's get to it. So I got that rack end in. Semi's now adjusting my coilovers to bring the front down a little bit. It's kind of looked like it was set up for Ebisu circuit uh, with the front up higher than the rear. So we're going to level that out before we go and take it in for the alignment. We're still waiting on the other rack end and the kind of zip tie things for the second fan to come in. It should be here hopefully by 9.30 and currently it's 9. So should be good shortly, I guess. Ooh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just stressing because Mitsuri's tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so quick update guys. Um, oil cooler kit install is happening. Uh, we got the new tie rod and everything that I needed from the parts store. I've got the oil cooler mounted up and in here. I forgot to turn the time lapse on and talk to you guys because I just got to smash this car out and get it out of here so we can get other customers' cars in here right now. So what I'll do is I'll throw you on the time lapse while I'm making the lines and routing them. Um, but essentially the cooler fits perfectly in behind there. I know that this generally isn't like a great spot for people, especially drifters to put it because this is generally like where you hit the most. Um, but it's better than having it in the center where I can get heat soak issues and keep it away from the radiator because I'm trying to keep that nice and cool. Got all my fans mounted in there, ready to put the rad in, but I'm keeping the rad out while I'm mounting that so I have more room. And yes, I did put a hole through the chassis of my skyline there to run the, the line so that they're not going up and under. Um, so a little bit sad, but you know, elitists are gonna cry, whatever, that's what happens. Anyways, I'm gonna get into making these lines, put you on the time-lapse.
So an update on where we're at. Car's just gotten back from the alignment place. Everything is all together. While I was putting the radiator in, I made a little boo-boo and accidentally ripped off the sensor wire that goes to like my little trigger relay thing here for the fans. So I had to uh, change it to manual override, soldered in a wire there and just got that on the battery right now so that when the ignition's on the fan's on, obviously that's not good because my car needs to get up to temperature. So right now I am jumping in on the link forums to work out on the um, RB25 Neo where I need to um, wire in a trigger for the fan. So I'm going through the forums right now trying to work that out. Once I figure that out, I'll wire it in so the ECU triggers the fans and then pack all my tires and wheels into Sam's Ute ready for tomorrow. Make sure we've got tools and everything we need and we're kind of done. And then maybe we'll get to go ice skating tonight. I don't know, I'd like to. Hey guys, Summit here. May's just doing some stuff to some other stuff. And I'm vlogging now because I'm Samet. Samet here doing some other stuff to his link. Oh, I know. You're changing the volts to the fan. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I finished wiring in the trigger switch for the fans and I'll show you what I did. Uh, the O2 sensor that used to be in there that I replaced with the wideband, one of those wires I can use as a trigger wire and see this yellow wire here? I've got that put in there with a crimp terminal all heat shielded and taped up. Then this wire comes along here, inside here, down to the trigger wire that goes to the two relays. And how I have it set in the Link ECU is I'll show you first. Here I've got this particular auxiliary which is auxiliary 7 that comes out on the uh, O2 sensor trigger wire and what I've done is I've told it it's for an engine fan 1 I've made the polarity high and the driver type low which is what sends it 12 volts to trigger it essentially and then what I've done is under the engine fan settings here I've told the fans to turn on at 79 degrees Celsius with a 2 degrees hysteresis um, and then I've made sure that the engine fans don't come on when I turn the AC by default they are set to come on um, which I just don't need them to. Um, now you can set up so you got fan one, two, and three, um, but I've just put them both uh, onto the one trigger wire so that they both come on with fan one setting. So yeah, when this heats up to 79 degrees, the fans will trigger on. Um, I can mimic that by just changing this value here. Let's just set it right now to 55 because we're at 59 degrees external. The moment I did that, both fans have turned on. This one's on full ball, and now this one's on full ball. So they're both on right now and it's only 59 degrees. Change that value back down to 79 and they'll shut off until that temperature is reached. There you go, they just shut off. If I'm not sure if you could hear that. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do now is pack everything up. We're gonna load Sammy Vane's ute with all the tires and everything and uh, we'll continue from there. All right, so we've got the car in here which Sam is gonna take to the track for me tomorrow which has all the tools and tires and everything in it. And uh, my car's outside idling. We're going to head for the day, and tomorrow we're going to be doing skids. Woo! I love you, Seven! I watch all your videos! Okay, so I'm home now, and I'm just getting ready to go to bed and pass out. I need to get a good night's rest for tomorrow, because it's going to be a very long day. Unfortunately, the weather report does say it's going to be storming a bit tomorrow, so fingers crossed that the weather clears out. Um, I'm all good for, you know, sorry, I'm all for wet weather in the sense of being able to learn some more wet driving and just, you know, learning how to control a car and stuff and just get some more technique and that kind of thing because the last thing you want to do is have no wet driving experience and then it rains at a competition. So I'm all for that. Um, I just hope that at some point during the day it all dries up so that we can uh, we can shred and make some clouds. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know the ending of it was probably like all over the place because that's just what Matsuri Prep's like. You got to focus on it and get in and get done and uh, I definitely forgot to pull out the camera a few times. <laughs> but anyways, thanks heaps for watching, guys. Um, hopefully, you'll, I'll get to see you all tomorrow. When you're gonna watch this will actually be the day of Mitsuri because I'm filming this the day, the night before. So um, yeah, hopefully I get to see a bunch of you and you get a whole bunch of passenger runs and everything goes well. 
But anyways, guys, enough talking. Thanks you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit up all the social media down in the description. And I'll catch you on the next video. Ciao, matane.